Thank you, Chair. Uh, first of all, I need to declare a non pecuniary interest to the same as Council Bell and the Chairman of the Port of Town Hall, which I don't, don't quite see has a large connection to this particular project. It's not going to be redeveloped in any way. Um, just a few comments, really. Uh, Councillor Evans says good quality and easy to understand document. And that's exactly what this presents. It is an excellent document. It's not written with um, planning speak. It's, it's done purely so members of the public can understand it. And I think they can. Um, there needs to be a little correction, but it's, 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 it's only mine. It refers to flats to be built above shops. And one or two people already said to me, well, actually, there are already flats above the shop. What it should see, or needs to clarify, is another floor, possibly, of flats. Um, I've had a few people talk to me about the recent press release, which talks about, and uh, Councillor Evans did mention it, I'll get a bit further, there's no millions of pounds to be spent on this project. In fact, we don't have any money other than the remainder of the little money, the little fund, which once, the, once their requirements are taken care of, there'll be very little money left, I should imagine. And there might be something which we discussed at the meetings, a possible environmental fund pot, which might be able to buy something. We are totally dependent on the cooperation and financial input from <coughs> absent landlords, which have always been a problem in the past. They don't want to do anything. They're quite happy to be away somewhere, just take their rent and be happy with that. Hence the, the somewhat, um, I think you refer, Chairman, to the grim state of the precinct. Nothing much has ever been done on it. Um, it also depends on Hampshire County Council, and Councillor Adams referred to that. Uh, anything to be done up through the centre of the precinct would be Hampshire County Council. And we've had a number of discussions at previous CATS meetings about removing trees, etc. Um, whether they will come around to that idea because they've never supported it in the past, I don't know. But it would be the precinct they would be better developed or redeveloped if, they, if some of those trees were taken out. Um, there's some room for limited housing development, uh, which hopefully will boost the shopping uh, numbers, because obviously we've got people living close by, they'll probably use the precinct. Um, I have concerns about Lidl, and it's already having quite an impact on some of the shopkeepers down there now, so this vision hopefully will address some of that shortfall now with people seemingly going much further to Lidl. Uh, it's, it's good that we've managed to arrange the car parking, so there's an actual increase in numbers. Um, and there will still remain some provision for commercial vehicles when the lorry park is removed. And I think that's as far as I want to go. I've got no questions because I'm trying to happy with it off. Thank you. Document. Uh, we've come a long way actually since the working group started its first meeting. I remember after the second meeting, um, I sat was at there and I was wondering myself how do I get out of this. Um, but that tonight is one of full support. And I wish to thank Richard actually and, and his team uh, for some excellent work. And uh, the demonstration that showed what an excellent planning team we have on this council. It would have been nice to see uh, the working group over. Um, members be allowed actually to sign the document off as a team effort. Um, so I remain a little puzzled as to the decision not to allow that. But nevertheless, as to say, I fully support the document. This is an excellent paper, however, there is one important illustration which has been excluded. Uh, that is um, how we see and how we see the shape of the South uh, Car Park being developed. Now the officers have a fantastic slide actually, uh, which shows the South Car Park as it could be. I believe that that slide is quite a potent uh, potential weapon there to bring, uh, to show in the document, to bring the public on board. It shows um, the car park and the district centre uh, to be quite a, ref a refreshed design. 
And I think it's a shame, actually, that its illustration is not within the document. The document has the right balance in terms of your housing, car parking, possible uh, environmental improvements, and further retail opportunities. My colleague, uh, Councillor Price, and myself fully support the document. I'll be interested to see what the residents of Porchester think. Because at the end of the day, it is what the residents want, and not so much what the council wants in, in, in so many ways. Members are here to lead, which I believe this, con this con uh, consultation document does exactly that. Now it's up for us to listen to the public, so we can shape a district centre, which we can all be proud of. There's a high level of interest um, in the phone calls that I'm receiving at the present moment, um, so my hope is that all the parties um, can get joined up and let's have let's see this vision come about in a reasonable time scale. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much.